Welcome to a tutorial video on tools for summarizing data in Minitab Express. In this lesson, we'll cover data tally and two-way tables. Let's begin. The data was obtained from the Minitab Express website, and it has to do with the pulse rate data. We will be taking some of the categorical data and then making a tally and then creating a summary column or a two-way table summarizing that data. The data in the spreadsheet that was um, downloaded from the Minitab website was put into a Google spreadsheet, and this is so it's universally available uh, to different platforms. This data here was copied into Minitab Express, and this is the data we'll be working with today. So as we're looking at this, let's look at some of the tools. This particular example has been worked out on a Macintosh computer. Uh, the PC system will have a very similar menu system. You should be able to find the same functionalities on it, although navigation might be slightly different. When we're trying to do tallies, what you want to do is go to Summary Statistics, and specifically we're going to look at Tally. It's going to ask us uh, which categorical variable we want to make a count of. For, the, for example, let's take a look at how many people ran um, in this study. So uh, we're going to uh, double click or simply highlight and just right click that variable. And you have choices on the statistics what it is to do the total counts, percents, cumulative counts, or cumulative percents. Depending on what you want, you can make as many entries in your table as you want. For this first example, let's just do a basic count. Click OK. And there you have it. You have the tally um, for um, ran, how many people did not run, how many people did run, and then also the total count or the sample is 91. Now we can do this, of course, a little more um, detail. Let's do tally again. And let's pick a different categorical variable. Let's see those who smoked. So we're going to put smoked. And maybe what we want to do is also include the percents of who smoked. We could also then uh, click OK and see what we get. When this tally is run, you'll get both the uh, count but also and also the percent of the participants who smoked in the survey. Again, 91. You can also do uh, more. So again, going to Summary Statistics and then choosing Tally. We can pick everything. Let's say percents, cumulative counts, and cumulative percents. And let's say we want to look at activity. And click that. And let's see what we get. So here you'll notice that you have a count in that first column, percentage, a cumulative count, and also a cumulative percentage. So by the time you get to the end of the table, cumulative count, you should have counted up everyone. And then also similar with the cumulative percentage should be 100%. So that's a little bit about how tallies are done. Now let's take a look at a two-way table. Suppose you want to create a two-way table that um, examines the relationship between the participants who smoked and their activity level, whether they exercised a lot, a little, or just slightly. To do that, we would go to Tables. We would do cross-tabulation and chi-square. That's the one we choose. Right now, we're just going to be focusing on the creating of the table. Later in this course, we will also understand what doing a contingency table or chi-square is. So for the rows, what is it that you want to indicate as rows? Let's for the moment um, choose smokes, whether they smoked or not, and that's going to count. It's going to count, and then for the columns, we'll do the activity level. And what we're then going to do is simply click OK and see what we get. Now there's much more we can also include in this table for the purpose of generating a two-way table. Let's just do the raw counts. And there you have it. What we now have is the result of the tally that compares the smoking to the activity level. In the columns, you'll see a lot, moderate, and slight activity, and those counts. And down below, well, you will see that there are 21 altogether who have a high activity level, 80, or 61 who have a moderate activity level, and 9 people who have slight activity level. 
in the rows we have whether they smoked or not and as we look across a total of 64 uh, do not smoke and a total of 27 do smoke. Altogether there are 91 people who participated in this study. So that is an example of how you would create a two-way table. Again to reiterate and let's just use a different one you'd go to tables choose a cross tabulation and chi-square. What we can do is let's do a different one. We can also do smokes as our row and whether the participant was asked to run or not. Let's make that the column this time. And that will create a two uh, row. Well, let's take a look. If its answers are yes and no only, then we would imagine it's a two row by two column table. Let's find out if that's the case. And there you have it. Um, the rows are representing smoke, whether a person smokes or not, and a column represents whether a person was asked to run or not in this study. And there we have it. In summary, what we have covered is how to do a tally and also how to do um, a two-way table for creating your descriptive statistics. I hope you found this helpful.